Welcome to the first episode of How Hard Can It Be. Today I will try to show you my first mural piece and you will see how hard can it be. But now preparations. What do you need first? First of all, wall. So the most important thing when you want to create a mural or graffiti is legal wall. If you don't have family or friends which would like to check your skills on their walls, no problem. Uncle Google will help you find one. Next, sketch. So when you know where you would like to paint, make a fast sketch or photo manipulation to know how much space you want to use and how many colors you need. It will also help to estimate how much time you need to invest in this project. Cans. You need to think about colors, but also about the brand, because different brands will behave differently. It affects level of the paint coverage, paint consumption, color and fading with time. Caps. It's better to have more than one. The subject is so large, I will explain myself later on. Mask. Paint has very intense smell and because this is a result paint, paint is everywhere. It's better for your health to have one. Background paint. It's better to have it not only if you paint over old graffiti. Also, if you know that your piece will be darker, you can use normal paint for walls to not use too much more expensive spray paint. Don't forget about paint roll and paint foil. You should always be clean, so it's better to have it, especially during painting of the background. Paint is always dropping from the painting roll and it can be mess. The last thing is work clothes. When you are doing something with paint, it's always good to have them. If you would like for your piece to stay long on the wall, first you need to clean it up and wait for it to dry. Secure elements that shouldn't be covered in paint. You can use duct tape for it. If you are not sure of your skills or the composition is complicated, you can use the projector. In my case it wasn't the best idea, because projected image was too small and I needed to move the projector and the image on the computer. It didn't work out. Maybe it would be possible with proper equipment. It was good that I had the sketch printed out of me. Find middle part of your sketch and middle part of the wall. Now it will be easier to keep proportions and you will know how much space you need for each half. You can go even farther and make a grid on your sketch and on the wall and divide them alike. Prepare your place. Removing weird stuff during the process can be distracting and can change your composition. Something that you can consider is gloves. They can be a cool idea, but if there is super hot outside, I advise against it. My hands were so wet, it wasn't a pleasant experience. So if there will be the next time, I will for sure not wear them. Don't forget to shake your cans before work. Important topic is can storage. I notice on the different channels that artists are storing cans in the crate for beer. I think it's a brilliant idea. It helps with order and it's easier to travel with them. Sketch, sketch. Where is my sketch? Don't worry. If your project will change during work, nothing bad happened. It's even more creative. Important part is to have it. To have a clear idea of what we are doing here. But it doesn't mean that every inch of the sketch needs to be on your piece. Sometimes make a small break and step back from your piece. It's good to check if you are still doing what you planned. Remember that on close-up stuff looks differently. It's good to have more background paint, because if you don't like what you did or you change your concept, you can easily repaint it and start again.
Now more about cups, like I promised. There are a lot of them. Like can brands, but with cans it's easier, because if you like to have good quality, there is a couple of leading brands like Mowotov. But with cups, whew, this is harder, because it's better to know what kind of grip do you like. Some cups have distinctive shape and because of that finger pressure is different. There are a lot of various sizes and types and majority of them behave differently. Before I started I watched a couple of YouTubers and I still wasn't prepared. It helped me to have a vague idea of what to expect but still. So that's why I bought a couple of them to try it out. I think it was a very good idea. Cups are the cheapest item from our list, so you can go wild. But when you'll find your perfect cup, I suggest to buy more than one. So during the painting, you wouldn't need to change cup all the time with change of every color. My favorite, Flame Super Fine. I like this cup because the grip is comfortable and my figure wasn't that tired afterwards. Stream of paint is super thin, because of that I had a better control over edges of the line. For bigger spots, it's better to have fat cup, but like I said before, it's good to check out a couple of options. Important, remember to clean up your cups after work. It's easy and they will stay useful for longer. You can use turpentine or other solvent to do it. My biggest failure of this project was Beard's Peak. I wanted to have curved peak. I figured it will be easier to create shape with duct tape but the effect wasn't nice and under the tape was some imprint. That's why I needed to start again, after covering this failure. When the paint dried up a little bit I started again. I figured I don't need to make sharp peak, I can just make what I can and then cut out with the dark paint on the top and on the bottom to make it sharper. This is a good example of why you need good paint. If you would like to cover some mistake or you will just change your mind, it's better to not have previous background sticking out from new layer of paint. I was really happy with Mowotov of paint that I used for this piece. I didn't have any problems with pressure and it covered previous layer excellent. I learned that when you are painting with the spray, the most important thing is distance and angle. With closer distance the stream of paint is sharpening, but if it's too close, we can start having drops. I suggest to first try a couple of not complicated shapes. It will be also good for trying new caps. Playing with angle, you can make some cool effects like gradients. Press cap to the wall and you will have sharp ending gradient. Going back to drops. They can be also a result of the weather. If it's humid, it could cause more drops, but don't worry, everything is fixable. I almost finished there, so let's jump to summary, time and money. It wasn't a small piece, you need to think about your cost, but also very important part, about your time. I had super luxurious situation, because no one was in the rush, and I wasn't afraid that someone will came and paint over my not finished work. So for my first mural I spent around 15 hours and I was working during 4 different days. This type of art is not that cheap, especially if you want for it to last. I used 13 cans of Molotov paint, it was around 54 euro. 10 cups for 4 euro, mask 20 euro, black background paint 8 euro, Obviously painting roll, 4 euro, foil, 1 euro. In summary, I spent for this project around 100 euro. Now, how hard was it? For couple things I was prepared, but couple surprised me. But I think without surprises it wouldn't be so much fun. For sure I would like to do it again. I think it wasn't that hard like some people can imagine. That's why if you want to try it, but you didn't have courage, don't be afraid and just do it. If you have any questions or other ideas what else I can try, don't be shy and leave me a comment.